Hey guys, this is Hannah Loves Books. Today I'm going to show you my September TBR. I actually made a TBR because I am almost positive I'm going to read most of these books. So I decided just to show you them. So here is my TBR. These look like pretty thick books, but I tend to get through thick books really quickly. So we'll see. I have a variety. I have books, books in verse, book novels, and mangas. I hate these lines on my hair. Okay, I'll back up. That works. So the first book I'm going to show you is a book in verse that I got at the library. I'm not sure how I'm going to like it. So since it's by a new author and stuff and I don't really know the story, so I decided just to get it at the library. And it's called Tricks by Ellen Hopkins. And this is a thick book. It's like 600 pages and it's crazy. Yeah, I'm excited to read this. I think this is a bunch of short stories from different people's point of view, I want to say. I guess we'll see. Okay, next are some full-length novels I want to read. First one is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I am, you don't even know how excited I am to pick this book up. Look how big it is though. Oh, not really scaring me at all because I know I'll fly through it because that's what I do for all the Harry Potter books. But I am so excited for this one because this is one of my favorite movies out of the Harry Potter series. So I know I'll love the book and even looking at it right now makes me want to pick it up like right now. Next book is a book that I've tried to read a couple times like I've gotten like this far in it. And it is Lux Opal by Jennifer L. Armentrout. It's this third book in the Lux series. I just haven't been feeling it, but I know I need to finish the series, and I know once I keep reading, I'll get into it, so yeah, I'm just having a hard time getting into it at the moment. I will be reading this book, at least one of the book, probably at least Opal this month. Next is a couple of short stories that are going to prepare me for Halloween, and it is Edgar, the best of Edgar Allan Poe, and these... I don't know, you guys don't know this about me, but I love Edgar Allan Poe's short stories. Like, I used to love them as a kid, even though they freaked me out. My sister just brought me this down to me today, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I need to add this to my TBR. I'm going to read it. So I'm really excited. The scariest one, the one that scared me the most, was Telltale Heart when I was little. I hated the, like, the guy, like, sneaking into the room. It just creeped me out. It really, it was too much. So I want to reread it, and I want to read some more of the stories. There's over... 30 stories in this book. So I'm excited. I'll probably read a couple this month and a couple in October. I'm going to show you a graphic novel that I really want to get to and it is The Undertaking of Lily Chen. I honestly do not know what this is about but I did hear of this from a booktuber so I do want to read it but this is a heavy book man. Um, but yes I don't really know anything about it but it's a young adult graphic novel so I will be reading this probably soon. See the art. I actually haven't looked in it. I'm not sure how I feel about the art. <laughs> Here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't really know. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> Last but not least is um, mangas that I'm going to read because I'm really getting into mangas. The first manga I want to show you is Millennium Snow by Bisco Hattori. This is a kind of twilight manga but this was written before Twilight so it's kind of like Twilight was taking it there's a vampire and a werewolf and the girl I read the first volume and I'm like pretty far in the second volume I'm gonna just finish up the series there's two more books there's and there's Millennium Snow number three Millennium Snow number four and I think that's the end of the series so I probably will be finishing this up this month so I'm really excited to get to this um it's okay it's not the best but I will be doing a wrap up and a review on this, but I will read the whole series this month because it's pretty addicting, I gotta admit. Last manga series that I'm hoping to get to is Death Note. I've read the first volume in the first book and I actually really liked it. So I will be continuing on with this book and I might be reading the other books that I have here. With okay, that is it for my TBR. I'm probably going to be reading much more or much less because school starts this month, but yes. Okay, bye guys.